everybody and welcome to CFC Fan TV. This is mine and Rory's post-match review where Chelsea just won 4-1 against Cardiff. Actually, it's going to be Rory's review because I'm too ill to talk. So, Rory, oh, tell I us. I can talk about that. Start from Leave the first half and go to the second. Well, it started as we'd expect. Neil Warnock did exactly what you know he's going to do, which is a bit disappointing because I think we should have been on that. Set piece, don't give him away, first of all, which I think was David Luiz. Then when it comes in, they're going to launch it into the box. They're going to get a flick on and they're going to hope for the best after that. And you need to be on that. It's so Neil Warnock. That's exactly what Neil Warnock, Warnock Listen, does. Not that I, not that I agree with uh, what the pundits say. We've done loads of videos on it and I've, I can't understand why they're not taking it seriously. But there is a slight error in our defence. And when we come to playing Liverpool and City, we can't make mistakes like that. Yes, I, th I think you're right. And, uh, but also, I think this one was made at, at a, a, perhaps a, a bigger, broader level. It wasn't necessarily an individual error on the pitch. It was, a, the it, was a, it was kind of a tactical error. You can't give Warnock's teams this opportunity. And we did, and they scored a goal, and anyway. But the reaction from there was fab fabulous. I thought that we, we reacted to that goal going in just with the perfect poise, perfect elegance, perfect precision. We're very good at doing that and coming back from 1-0. Absolutely. And it's real well, it's it's that's what been. makes that's yeah. what makes sorry, that's what makes, you know, it's champions. Wonderful. Sorry, as <laughs> um but yeah, I think I think after that there was no looking back. I thought Eden Hazard got us back in the game, made it one all, scored a second one which was beautifully worked, and then ran over and celebrated in front of the Cardiff fans. Which what was that about? Or did he just want to? They were booing him, weren't they? They oh, were giving were him they? a lot of grief, yeah, which I couldn't quite understand. Well, to be fair, I'm not going to lie, the Cardiff fans have been really bad today. Just really, really, Brilliant. a little bit too violent for me. I'm not really into that. I thought they, were, I thought they were brilliant. I thought they were the loudest fans we've had here. No, in the stadium, yeah, not outside. They were brilliant. I've, I've, I've got a lot of respect for the way they travel. I thought they were, they were very good today. Um, don't agree. Depending on depending on your perspective, but yeah, they were, they were good good support. Certainly, you know, they didn't stop singing all game, and it's the best we've had here for a long time. So, the, yeah, second half came, and then then it was all about Eden Hazard. Got his hat trick. They just couldn't live with him. He was unbelievably good, and this is why I think we are genuine contenders for the Premier League because what, our strength in depth is so good. You know, like you, you take off Pedro, who I thought had a brilliant game. I thought he really did run them ragged. You take him off. You then bring on William, who wins you a penalty and scores a sublime goal. That is, that is brilliant. I also, a man who I think deserves a mention here, I've been so celebratory of Kovacic. I think he's a fantastic player and I thought that he was, he was the, the star of our, you know, he was the jewel in the crown of what happened against Arsenal. He came on and I really think he changed it despite the fact that Hazard got a lot of the headlines. But I thought Ross Barkley did a brilliant job when he came on for Kovacic today. I thought Ross Barkley played really, really well. I thought he kept it, kept it simple, but kept the ball ticking over nicely and kind of took charge in the middle in a way that Kovacic would. So I think things are, are really looking good. And coming back off that international break now, what? That's five wins on the spin. That's, that's in, an incredible thing to happen with a new manager. So... Yeah, I'm if you were City in Liverpool, I think they probably they're underestimated at the start. Of the yeah, they would be. Yeah, they're terrified. We're terrified of them. That they're terrified yeah. of us. <laughs> it's um, uh, what they're not doing now is nobody's looking at us and not taking us seriously. Nobody's looking at us and viewing us through Other the same prism. Other than everyone on Sky Sports. <laughs> but nobody's viewing us through, through the same prism as, say, somebody's looking at the Arsenal team. Yeah. Nobody's genuinely looking at Arsenal thinking they can win the league. People are looking at this Chelsea team and thinking if it goes right for them, if their players keep fit, if it keeps falling in their favour and if they keep working as hard as they are so far this team could lift the Premier League trophy in May. Well, I bloody well hope so. OK, listen, just before you go, we've got the Europa League next. We have. Buzzing um, for it as well. I think Anyone he's gonna... who disrespects any trophy, by the way, is no, no I friend love of the, mine. I love the Europa League. I've been to many Europa League away games. Yeah. Uh, I've loved it. Anyway, uh, the point is, though, is that I think Sarri's going to use the opportunity to give players yeah. some game time. And also, it's good because if, when they get game time, it means if we do have any injuries, at least they've had some minutes. It's a squad, it's a squad game. And if this season goes as we hope it will, we'll play over 50 games this season. So it really is about would having as many... Would you start with Giroud or would you start with Morata in this, this fixture? In the Europa League? Yeah. In the Europa League, I'll start with our second choice striker, which for me is Alvaro Morata. <sighs> Going to get some hate. Ooh, that was, yeah, that was a little bit. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Very aggressive, Rory. Yeah. OK, but you think it's a win win game? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Winnable game. Winnable game and, and a game that I'm desperate to win. Yeah. You know, I take that trophy very seriously and I really hope that we start our campaign with three points. Wonderful. Goodbye, Rory. Goodbye, Sophie. <laughs>